Hi everyone, once again, Spotlight comes your way from the Daily Tribune office here in Makati City. The Daily Tribune studios here in Makati City. I am Jojo Silvestre. I'm with my co-host, my big boss, <laughs> Dina Sabal Ventura, who is the uh, lifestyle editor of the Daily Tribune. Today we have very special guests. Very special not only because they're young and good looking, but <laughs> more importantly, they deal in something very relevant to the Filipino, especially our commuters. I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Royeka, George Royeka, and his <laughs> wife, Angeline Tam. Thank you, Paul, for having us. For yeah. Jojo. Welcome. Thank you, Welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs> George is the chief transport advocate of ANCAS. Yes. Right. And Angeline is the CEO and, of course, the co-founder of ANCAS. I'm sure you know what ANCAS is all Everybody about. Everybody knows who, yeah. what ANCAS is. Yeah. So, for the record, she's my boss in my personal life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in my business life. Wow, that's so interesting. <laughs> that's what he says yeah. in public love. Yeah. <laughs> in reality, yeah. that's what we want to know. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. Right. We have a couple and this for yes. the Valentine's Issue. Yeah, around the uh, Valentine's right. episode. Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Would you like to ask them the first question, oh. Dina? Okay. Um, how many leather jackets do you own? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect question. I own three. Yes. Oh. It really suits you. Thank you. <laughs> how did you come up with the name Angkas? In the first place. Well, um, definitely she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just uh, actually it was one of our. Um, it, well, it was just a um, brainstorming session. Brainstorming session. Mm -hmm. yeah. It wasn't a eureka moment. Okay. You know, we had yeah. several names, oh? and then mm -hmm. everyone just you know um, went from different types of. Walang kawenta kawenta mga pangalan hanggang sa may mga meaning, double meaning, and then eventually you know angkas became that word. We're glad that we were first to be able to get it because it's right. like a verb, siya, eh, diba? rightly or wrongly. Yeah. It's, 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 good. No, it's good, but it's, good. But it's very good. It's always recall. And the <laughs> Filipino would know what it's about. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, yeah. So, um, I heard somewhere that you met in a bar. <laughs> <laughs> You're well informed. Uh, yes. <laughs> So, it was uh, so in my previous life. It, it was my previous <laughs> life. Uh, we were. I was working with the Singapore government. So we were. Yes, we were. We, well, we were partners in the Philippines for my oh. IT staff. No? so we okay. hosted um, a bunch of um, uh, official Singapore event with a bunch of entrepreneurs, and we decided now since um, you know we were young and it would be nice to change. Mm -hmm. The venue. Na, yeah. Gumawa kami ng business conference, pero sa bar namin ginawa yung venue. Oh, so, nice, yun, di ba? Na, Nabighani po siya. <laughs> Where? <laughs> ah, May alcohol doon. <laughs> this was in Singapore. This was here. Oh, here. here. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Which bar is that? Uh, this is her first was... time here. She was probably looking for like a new friend. And right? <laughs> yes. I was in, not in looking for a Imperial <laughs> Ice Bar. <laughs> sa Fort Bonifacio. Fort Bonifacio. Wala na yun. Wala na yung bar na yun. So, Pero kayo, forever. Huh? Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> Actually, he invited me for dinner the next night, and I thought it was business related. Oh, yes. So I brought my business partner, who's also a girl. Yeah, okay. that's like, and what? then he was like, eh? <laughs> 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 oh. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so, where did you go? <laughs> uh, we just where where we go? So I think we went in a restaurant, Dinosti, yeah, no? Oh, it's okay. yes, a Spanish restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Dinosti. Mm. It's open? still there until now. Is yes. it Dinosti? No, it's on Fort Strip, at opposite where Crystal Jade is, next remember. to Mango Tree. I don't remember. Yeah. I don't remember. You know, I should ask because you had a previous interview, no? I mean, yes. before this, mm -hmm. I'd like to know why you thought of having Uncas. For, for your for business, well, I mean, venture. It's not, it's not, um, it's not an original idea. You know, marami na po yan sa Indonesia, Vietnam, Thailand. She was also working um, um, as heading the grab bike business, and when they decided to shut it down, um, you know, we saw the potential. Um, and despite the, the regulatory issues, you know, the social impact that they had in the country, so mm -hmm. we decided to move it forward. And the idea, talaga, behind the class is not to create something new, but to professionalize the existing habal-habal. 
Oh, kasi yeah. maraming buhod na talagang habal-habal. And you know, sinasabi nila sa ano lang yung probinsya, hindi po eh. Dito lang po sa Metro Manila, there are 200 terminals. Just in Metro really? Manila alone. So, you, we really saw the, you know, you mean, there are 18 million motorcycles versus 3 million cars. And yung 3 million na kotse, kalahati po nyo nasa Metro Manila. So, talagang, you know, it, it was high time to professionalize that industry. And that's basically what we saw, that that need, that problem. And, People were using it anyway. Yeah. And uh, and we really wanted to find a safe way to empower people to take back their time. Right. To make decisions for themselves, mm-hmm. not because of traffic. I mean, you know? po, I mean, traffic, it's a, yeah. it's, it's a social issue. It's mm-hmm. not just a... It's not just a you know product economic, number, economic right, issue. Sabi right, right. ni three point five billion, but really ang totoo niyan, mahirap maghanap ng boyfriend girlfriend kung nakatira ka sa Alabang, tapos kaya sun city yung pupuntahan mo. <laughs> the it's ones funny, that we know have dated but it's each other. Nali limit na yun yung pool mo oh, of choices, yes. and that's your future family. Okay. School, work, lahat yeah. po yun. It's limited by geography. So, you know. How many times have you chosen not to meet up with your friend because, because you thought I'm about glad. the traffic? No. <laughs> you know, like, it's so oh, easy for it. me because it's just around the corner. Oh, okay, <laughs> there you go. Not but everybody's it, so lucky. But it takes the angkas yes. almost every night. <laughs> it goes up somewhere. Yeah. Oh. But yeah. imagine, imagine na lang if you had a, a wider net. <laughs> Yeah. Ikaw na ini-interview. Diba? <laughs> Would it still be the same? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Turn the tables, right? But you know, I, I'm just curious. Huh? What were you doing, Angeline, before you you became yeah. business partners? Yes. You were engaged in something else. Another business? Yeah, I was no. running a different startup uh, when I first came to the Philippines at that time. So yeah. I was running an auction e-commerce website. Auction e-commerce? Yeah, so we had operations in Singapore and Malaysia and then we eventually partnered with his company to um, also do a business here in the Philippines. You know, that's how he secretly Partner. got me to... You know, into <laughs> because, <laughs> yeah. because your business, your main line of business is... Uh, IT talaga. IT. So I've been in tech for, wow, a long time. And you know, it, it feels like, you know, it feels like a dinosaur na nga. Eh. Back then, when we were still online gaming, um, 70% of the market was still internet cafes. A dial up pa nyo, wala pang broadband internet. And then we really saw the evolution of how the online, you know, the internet as an infrastructure has really changed everything. Everything, every single thing we do has been changed because of the internet, and this right. is one, yeah, one um, proof that you know with technology, what you couldn't do before, you can pretty much do now. Yeah. Was it easy shifting from from what you were doing before to to transport? The tech side and the operational side was easy because it's a company. Yeah. It's you. It's the regulatory side that is what a little bit more complicated, yeah. um, because now you have to deal with public yeah. interests. Ayan. And that's something that, you know, we did not know how to manage because it's just go. Para mm-hmm. kaming, well, because of our ignorance, <laughs> we came in uh, and then kaboom, yes. <laughs> right? Three years later, I and, you know, but we're glad. We're glad where yeah. it is because at least now it's uh, somewhat of an accepted um uh, thing yes. already, and yeah. we, we and we've we've we're we're I don't know man we're thankful now mm-hmm. through the course of the three year journey yeah. that people got to accept this as a yes. you know as a really f- uh, good form of alternative transport. Yeah, from people, because, yes. yeah, from people not wanting to tell their friends about it to now. Oh my gosh, yeah. what am I gonna do without? You know that they are right? top customers. We so e ano mo naman kami sa social media? Ay Please? loko, sabi yeah. bakit? Kasi, <laughs> Motor of Ganon, but Aww. then Nayo naman wow. selfie ng selfie. Oh, that's true. Oh. How did you manage that? Yeah. How did you Marketing, uh, yeah. you know, ad- advocacy, mm-hmm. you know, and I think also just running the service well. Yes, that's really yeah. that's, uh, yeah. that's right. Yeah. And with that's that kind of traffic, so even these girls, this, this, I know, you know we have these um, glamorous um, girls, yeah. Oh, we have yeah. a lot of models and we have, yeah, a lot of, entertainment uh, industry, entertainment marami people, po talaga. Yeah, Kasi talagang yeah. gigs, that's yung mga ghosts, <laughs> they have to be there, yes, 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 yes. yeah. But there's only one person you cannot convince. Mm. <laughs> I can't Let's see. imagine myself, <laughs> <laughs> I'm less than a guy. Well, you know, kaya lang you... bakit hindi pa ako nagte-test ng angkas, eh. baka <laughs> maksa ako. Bakit hindi makapasok test? Uh, 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 uh. Detay sa big bike, start tayo sa big bike. 
But we should uh, we should give some tips if he's never ridden before. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, there's some tips uh, that our bikers should also teach you. You tell them it's your first time. They will mm-hmm. give you a card that tells you how to ride a motorcycle properly. Oh yes. So first thing, a helmet is the most important safety equipment. To put it on, and you have to strap it on. Some people yeah. don't strap it on, and it needs to be two fingers tight. Oh yes. really? Yes. Two finger two rule. Two finger rule. In between. In between. Okay. What do you mean? What do you mean? So the strap. Kung masyadong loose, yeah, pag no na-impact, point. lilipad yung helmet. Yes. So you have to make sure it's two, secure. Two fingers, it's hindi naman machoke ka, yeah. okay, but it's, okay. uh, it's good, it's snug enough so that yes. it doesn't fly off yeah. on then, impact. Number two, get on on the right side because there's a pipe on the left side. Uh, number three, oh, yeah. yes. yes. But we, we have, a, we have in, all, all our bikes where, are where insulated. Do you, where do you make sampah? Yes. Left or right? <laughs> from the, from the right, right side right. to the left. the left. So the biker, the biker will pre- the say, be prepared, you can... Hold him and get onto the bike, yes. right? Um, and then when you're riding on the bike, make sure you don't hold his shoulders because when you hold oh, yeah. his shoulders, that's how he controls the bike. Yeah. Uh, okay. So you so can I should hold here. Hold the waist. Oh wow! Yes. We should that's start. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hold the waist. Um, and then also, if you if it's if he's traveling too fast, if you're not comfortable, you can tap him on the shoulder to let him know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Uh, and to then slow the most down. Yes. Yeah, so. so the most important thing also is to lean with the bike. Biker. So sometimes people think like, oh, he's leaning left. I'm gonna counterbalance. And no, gonna, you, you go with, with you the, go with you the, the you follow, you follow what the Otherwise, ma out of balance yung motor, yes. it'll yes. be very unstable. There's something I haven't thought of. Mm. What if we have lies or you wear the, the same? Yeah, the so we have shower cap. Other shower cap. Yes, yes. yes. Huh? yes. May may hair cap po tayo and then meron oh, okay. tayo mga um, face mask. Amen. So mandatory po yun. So you have to Are demand they? that from the bikers. Kung hindi kayo binigyan, report niyo po sa amin. Except now with the face but mask But right shortage. now, meron tayong <laughs> face mask shortage yes. sa buong so, Pilipinas. Unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. So medyo mahirap yeah. po talaga so, sa ngayong bak- sa... Pero I think everyone has. I mean, I mean, yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But the, all our bikers now have to carry uh, alcohol and san- to sanitize the, the helmets. So so that's the that's the trade-off. Yeah. Okay. Now, do you know these guys who drive for you? Yeah. Yes. Yep, we have a very close community. Um, we meet them on a regular basis. Um, we have uh, biker fiestas, we have safety fiestas, we have meetups. We've actually done about 50 field uh, activities over the last six months to retrain oh, really? them. Uh, we have a. Oh, we, yeah, and so it's they're, not just they're the actually, onboarding. They're also our singers and writers. <laughs> yung mga music nila oh, yeah. Ang kastarana, ang kastarana, all of rappers, them. sila po yung gumawa. It's all from our bikers. Yung music Whoa. video namin, lahat nandun sila yun, mga bikers. So oh, it's, a, it's a very um, good um, community base. Angkas yeah. is just for Angkas. It's not to pick up something. Uh, meron po. Meron you po tayong parcel delivery. delivery. Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, yes. Pero maliliit na bagay lang. Hindi katulad po ng mga iba. Yeah. Refrigerator ganyan. Mm. Pwede. Yeah. Hindi pwedeng refrigerator. <laughs> In a music mali- video, that was one. Pag maliit na ref. <laughs> Wala kayong harana service this Valentine? Ah, tinan natin. Ah. Maganda Since idea yan. No? Yeah. Maganda Since idea. Since they can sing anyway, uh, right? Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> so, do you have time to relax, to listen to music, to... I guess even on Sundays you, you both work. Yeah. Uh, yes. Unfortunately. I mean, I used to be a biker, um, but you know now I just manage bikers. Thinks about it. When we can, um, you know, we try not to talk about work um, when we're at home. Mm-hmm. We try, and we spend time with our, you know, son. Yeah. So it's a, uh, you know, it's a balance that you have to strike. Right. But, um, yeah. You know. We take trips um, as oh. much as we can. We Bye. love traveling. No. We, we love traveling abroad. Oh. Uh, ah, okay. Yeah. Meron naman pala. Yeah, How yeah. often Anong are you... Signal, walang signal. I cannot. <laughs> I cannot reach. Yeah. How often are you in Singapore? Uh, I go back quite often. I go back maybe mm. once every one to two months. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how did you adapt to the Philippine setting? <laughs> Was it easy for you? I didn't leave the house area for a year, I think, when I first moved here. <laughs> I was like, what is this traffic? Oh, it's the traffic. This is the traffic. Yeah. Because every like time I ask theme, my driver, like, um, <laughs> are, we, are we near now? And like, yeah, no, no, near, near. And half an hour later, I'm like, I'll Still be there near. yet. <laughs> Singapore, guess it, 15 minutes, yeah. lahat ng lugar, yeah, yeah. Right? So, 20 ilaga. minutes is far in Singapore. Uh, yeah. You don't want to travel with 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, you miss that a lot. Yeah. Uh, 
I mean, I miss the efficiency for sure. Yeah. Uh, but of course, there are many other things to love here. So. Mel keep on telling her, you know, Philippi Philippines is blessed with uh, a lot of challenges. Therefore, there are a lot of blessed opportunities. Oh yes. uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, that's how you should look at it. Ani pa din pagkakita. So, um, is there like uh, uh, we, do you have any cultural differences that affect the do relationship? We? A lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> a lot. And how do you manage it? How do you handle it? Uh, they keep going as a couple who work together. And they come in with an open mind. Um, I, I like the fact that, um, you know, the, her world is actually culturally very different from ours. Um, and you get to see, you, you get to be more uh, receptive to a lot of things, right? Because, you know, even when you travel, that's why I like traveling it because you get to see what how people are doing. Yeah. You yes, know, outside, elsewhere. and that's where a lot of these uh, fears, xenophobia, and a lot of these things are really put mm. at rest. Mm. Um, and you become more, you become better for it. So I think the differences is actually what makes a relationship much stronger. Well, wow. nice. I just like to remember why we fell in love in the first place, mm. and I remind <laughs> myself of that. And uh, I think the other thing is just to know that, just to remember that people always come from a good place. So when he's talking about like the differences outside in society, the xenophobia, I think mm -hmm. we have to understand that fundamentally everyone comes from yes. a good place, right? So it's just misinterpretation of actions. Yeah. I'm yes. curious about how you how you started in life. You definitely are not the children of the owners. You, no. you started on your yeah. own. So what were you doing when you were young? Were you, you know, like, like yes. are you self-made? How do you look at yourselves? <laughs> it's it's so hard to claim that yourself. <laughs> I don't think I made yet. <laughs> I mean, no. But um, yeah, I mean, work hard. Um, for us, for me at least, growing up, it's always um, you know, it's always uh, you know, you know, the talent versus hard work, right? Oh, and okay. um, dyslexic as well growing up, eh? so I had to like really oh. double up on things, you know, reread things. So. I guess for me, um, when when I started accepting the fact that I had to work harder than everybody else, is what really made the difference, and like that's it. what I've been I've been doing since um, the since, since the beginning. Yeah, um, good looking yeah. dyslexic. <laughs> Caption. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Angie? Um, I mean, I think I started my life out as a uh, from school as a banker, so I I. Oh. I I kind of just followed the, the Singapore path, right? Go to school, study oh, hard, okay. you know. Um, and and I never thought I'd be doing my own business, actually. Are there so poor that came people? as a surprise. <laughs> Are there poor people in Singapore? <laughs> Are there poor people in Singapore? <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, there are underprivileged people in Singapore. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hindi yung poor tawag nila, pati yung tawag nila social. Hindi yung brand nila social. But I think the 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 what what the to the extent that you see here is 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 quite different though. I guess. So and we have more people here. Yeah, and there's a lot more people. Millions here. more. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. Um, do you have siblings or what? Do your parents do? Oh, um, yeah, we have siblings. I have an elder brother. Yeah. Is he in business also? You're only also? two. Uh, yeah, there's only two. Singapore, three. Yeah, 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 we have like yeah, one or two kids. Right. Yeah. Um, no, he's a uh, he's a uh, professional. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and my parents, yeah, they yeah, they're also professionals. professionals. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have three. I have three siblings. Mm -hmm. I have two. I'm the third. I'm the third child. So imagine masaya growing up. Magugulo kami. So two girls, two guys. Okay. Yeah. But where's the other guy? Yeah. Where's the other guy? Where's the other guy? Yes, he's uh he's ten years my senior. Pero. Guapo siya. Guapo too. No, I I guess. Friends, you know? yeah. mm. And your parents? So. Uh, my my dad unfortunately passed away. Yeah. Um, oh. But yeah, my mom my mom is um, she's uh, taking care of um, our family. Basically, mm. it's a full time job taking care of three adults. <laughs> Four, <laughs> adults. Four, Four adults. adults. <laughs> Four adults. <Still. laughs> until now. Yes, until now, it never stops. You never stop being a mom, no? Yes. <laughs> is Ankas engaged in? Social responsibility work. Like, yes. What yes. did you do last Christmas for you know? Yeah, and well, well, Christmas and well, my birthday, which is last 
m- last month. We really yeah. focused on the TAL efforts. So Ay, we had uh, our bikers go to Batangas and Tagaytay to provide relief goods. You know, we partnered yeah. with Unilever also to to help distribute, distribute some of their um, um, hygiene packs. Okay. Um, we brought blankets, uh, yeah. you know, uh, hygiene packs, purchase uh, masks, the N95 masks, masks yeah. water. Um, so we do a lot of um, uh, our drivers actually form parts of different communities and they do work for orphanages mm-hmm. on Sundays. We paint basketball courts um, oh, for communities. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We've so done cleanups. cleanups in the, you know, for, for garbage. Um, in, Who's with you? you the, yung mga... Our bikers, yeah. So, so they yeah. like to give yeah. back also. So oh, we, we help yeah. to support them. Sometimes they do it on their own. Um, yeah. We support for some yeah. funds. Yeah. yeah, it's. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We, they give yeah. free rides to students uh, yeah. at certain hours. You know, yeah. So, yeah. things like that. There was a nice one. The other day I saw an Anka Spiker, um, it was his birthday. So he put on his uh, he put on his bike. Today is my birthday, so your ride is free. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's really nice. <laughs> yeah. Do you give away television sets and then refrigerators? I need one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you become a writer first, yeah. we can discuss. I can't more. even make uncles. <laughs> Yeah. I think um, we don't have enough time for oh, all that. Yes. <laughs> I want to ask something else. Okay, Just one one yes. What do you two plan to do this Valentine's, Valentine's Day? Day. Oh, 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 I'm too busy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe a quiet dinner. <laughs> quiet dinner, yeah. some alone time, some oh, okay. us time. I, know. I can join you, of course. Of course, of course. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> welcome. Welcome. Third yes. wheel. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you can bring a friend. <laughs> Tricycle. I, yeah, actually, no. I think we'll be in we'll be in the evacuation centers on Valentine's Day, 13, oh. 14, 15. Right? Awesome. Yes. 13, 14, 15. But that's your birthday, right? Yes, that's your birthday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, birthday. Oh, yeah. Birthday. Oh, yeah. So, were you born in the same year? Uh, yes. We're year born of the what? Ako, I'm He's year of rooster. I'm rooster. She's dog. Because Chinese yeah. New Year is Feb, oh. I'm January, so I'm the end of the month. previous year. We're yeah. both roosters. Yeah, yeah, see. Oh. But of course, I'm wow. ahead. <laughs> 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 that need not be belabored. <laughs> it's been a pleasure having you here. Thank you for Thank having you me. Good having looking us. couples, <laughs> doing a lot for our people. Yes. It's so nice to have you. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. Happy Valentine's. Happy Valentine's. Happy Valentine's. Always Happy a pleasure. Yeah. Have us again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can, Can we questions? have a longer time? Yes, next? of course. Yes. <laughs> Can we go with you? We we'll go to the evacuation center. Yeah, of course. Thir- for 13, 14, 15, yeah. we'll be in the evacuation centers. Yes. Yeah. Celebrating her Maybe birthday. Maybe we can uh, send yeah, someone. Thank with you that. Very much. Thank you very much for joining us again this afternoon. See you next week. See you. Thank you. Thank you.
Um, we, we see a lot nowadays shea butter in our lotions and our very moisturizing soaps and hyaluronic acid. Um, it's actually a very unique ingredient because it can hold up to um, more than 10 times its moisture. Yeah, so it's really good to uh, that I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not a <laughs> not a derma, but I just know um, it will really grab onto all the moisture in skin. So that's what's gonna lock it in your skin. So it's already available in our stores actually. So this one, um, we love it because it's also very cooling on the skin. So when you put it on, um. um I would use it in between skincare and makeup. So maybe after sunblock. Um, what's nice about it is it kind of feels like a moisturizer already. Just because of the ingredients. And it's cooling again. So if you like to start your day with that um, kind of calming feeling on your skin, it's very nice. And then we actually have a... Um, oh, we have the tool. The skin hydration and that. This one, I'll try it on you, so you will see just how good it is. All of our Benefit um, doors and counters, we actually have this. Um, it's especially made for Benefit, it's called the Skin Hydration Analysis. So anyone can actually go up to our um, stores and ask the girls because um, this will show you just how well and how quick more fashion and hydrate works. So I'm going to try it on you so you can like No, of course not. I'm sure you're hydrated, but we could always do better. So I'm going You can actually multi prime and use um, the more mattifying ones, maybe in the teaser. But a lot, yeah, but a lot of people like the glowy cheek area, so you can just use this. So, wait for that to before people were just used to wax and powders. They didn't really have a pencil the later on. So the original browsing just comes with one wax and then one powder. Then we had six shades of this. But uh, as I mentioned earlier, they haven't really changed the formula since the 70s. So I, I think after 30 plus years, it was time for a change. So we're actually going to discontinue um, the smaller browsings and then move on to the browsings Pro palette. So what's nice about it is 
this comes in two shades. So there's a light to medium and a medium to dark. And then those two shades, um, they cover all the shades from one to six. So those who were fans of Browning before will definitely find their shades here. But what's nice is, you know, now you have more options. And this is great, especially for girls that like to change their hair color often, like to change things up, maybe get highlights, maybe just um, go ashy or some, you know, girl thing. Yeah, all Why are we using so, it? Looks a little it's not, it's not, yeah. So it comes with um, a spoolie already and a few different brushes. So this one's both um, angled on the end. So this is for kind of more precision or maybe drawing in a mirror. But you also have a tapered one in case you want to really fill in any gaps. I know some people have bald spots. So how I would do it would be to um, it depends on the look you like because sometimes some people they like to finish off with the clear wax to get all the brow hair standing but sometimes you? I would go in with the wax first and then kind of do all the shaping I like or And then you'll see it's very pigmented, but it's it's a lot smoother than the old wax. Okay. So you first start out with that shape, right? Yes, and then you can go in with the powder and the kind of just Or you could go in with um for those who don't really want to add um tinted wax to their brows, you could go in with the clear. And this will kind of act as your primer without really affecting the color of your brow Ouch. hair or the skin and underneath it. And then you can go in with the powder of your choice. And it's very soft. So the powder, it's pigmented, but if you blend it out, it won't ever look too harsh. I think that's the reason people turn to powder products in the first place is because they like that kind of soft, smoky-looking brow. And then me personally, sometimes I just like to keep my brows looking. Um, earlier I said having those kind of glossy, shiny brows gives the illusion that like you're healthy. So I like it just especially here in the beginning as a finishing kind of thing. It's kind of grungy, effortless. like. In 2020. So, I don't think the natural fluffy brow is going away anytime soon. But surprisingly, some people were actually um, predicting that the thinner brows would come back. And I was like, oh no, I won't be relevant anymore. <laughs> but yeah, I can see why. Because some people, you know, as much as the fluffy feathery brow no, um, is so some people just really don't prefer it. They like clean, um, freshly waxed brows, which is fine because some people just look really much nicer looking polished and stuff like that. Um, I know some people, like my sisters, don't even like my brows. <laughs> they're like, they're my brows anyway, so it's fine. Um, so for that, like we have other products for that. Personally, I like using Brow Contour Pro. That's our pen because it has the concealer on one end, so you could just kind of clean up around the casual again. But yeah, you can clean up around your It's four in one, and it looks like those pens that we all used in high school. So, this one I would use to clean around my brows, and it can actually cover in some of my stray hairs, so I can look like I have thinner brows even without getting rid of my precious hair. Um, things like that. Brow trends. So you're saying, whether it's thin brows or brows, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, of course. It's makeup is very personal. Yeah, whatever you feel. So our, the color of the year this year will be classic blue, and we actually already had a few um, blue color releases, but I think. 
this year more than ever, they're going to be very relevant. So my personal favorite would be our Bad Gal Bam Blue Mascara. So this one's like a really beautiful striking blue. So whatever the packaging color is, that's what the mascara looks like actually. And like people don't realize that blue is a universally universally flattering eye um, color to put in your eyes. Um, especially for Pinoy's if you have brown eyes or dark eyes, they make it look a lot brighter. And it actually makes it So this one's just like a really subtle way to brighten up your eyes. So from afar, people won't even be able to tell that you're in a new mascara. But then like if you're talking to someone up close, yeah, they'll be like, oh, that's something different. But it's not too clowny. Just a touch. So this is in our Bad Gal Bang formula. So it's really volumizing without um, plumping up. Actually, this one, um, it has um, aero particles. So they really got technology from astronauts. And it's the particles that keep things light in space that they put into this mascara so it stays light on your eyelashes. You know, right? The bum. Put as many coats as you want. And this one looks great on everyone. Sometimes I actually take um, a pair of false lashes, then I paint them with this. Wait for it to dry and then I'll stick it on my eye. It's really nice. Yeah, very subtle actually. You can make your eyes So you can put like just the bottom and then. Yeah. Blue or not, no, it's but you bright. can also. Some people look like love to do that every day. It looks super nice. This one, like maybe if you're a bit more afraid to be playful first, daytime. Just it's like a dip. It's a your first um trial into more creative makeup. So again, no matter how many layers you put, it won't be heavy. Brow tone. So this one is a blue brow gel. So if you're someone with like colored hair or maybe you want your brows to have a blue tint, it's actually pretty fun. Yeah, it's just like a nice highlight for the brows. A lot of people also who want to make their brow hairs look a bit more cool tone like to use this and brush it. So it's a nice way to just incorporate the classic blue as well. We also have blue um, eyeliner and so it's all blue this year. All blue this year. And then lastly would be um, illuminated skin. So of course that's not going away because uh, I don't think we're ever gonna go back to the very very black skin. Yeah. Um, so we have our new highlighters. Have you tried? Oh, they're the best. So, we have Cookie and Pickle. These are our new highlighters. So, Cookie is kind of the pink gold. And then, um, champagne one. And then, Pickle is pink gold. So, these are... Oh my gosh. We will go blinding. So, this one's... Wow. That's just one swipe. And then, Cookie is my favorite. Because this is a... um. You could wear it that straw if, you, if that's your thing. So lastly for 2020, it's all about a very soft illuminated glow. Mm -hmm. And it's not, um, you know, I think we're done with the very intense strobing looks. It's more of the glow from within, just that healthy um, glow that doesn't seem like it's because of makeup, just mm -hmm. because you take good care of your skin. So there's actually, of course, ways to work around that. Just fake it. Just fake it, yes. <laughs> That's what, what it's all about. So, um, for me, highlighters work best in very thin layers. So, I always start with our What's Up um, cream highlighter. So, I love this one because it's very subtle and it looks great on everyone. So, I just need it. And you can just use your fingers. Yup. And clean fingers, of course. And having the uh, professional under. Make sure that like, cause when you put on shimmers, usually they can tend to um, emphasize texture on skin. So I always like to start with Professional because having that 
layer of it there ensures that you're gonna look smooth even when you're building the, what's that? This is cookie, so it's my favorite one. And I'll just use a little first. So I just put it where the light hits my cheek. And I like to put a little above my brows. And then I have another finger to just clean the edges. You can see that's like blinding. <laughs> you can build it up of course, but again, it's all about that soft, illuminated glow. Then I like to like dab a bit in my um the apples of my cheeks. So when I'm smiling or when I'm talking to someone um straight on, you know, the difference. Yeah. Here this side looks like wow. I drank so much water. Yeah. So hydrated. Yeah. Nice. Yes. 